What's good, y'all? It's me, Honey Jag. Today, I'm just going to do a quick review on Aaliyah Janelle's Queens and Lettos workshop. Uh, she did a workshop in Chicago a couple of weeks ago, and if you guys have been following me, you've seen um, the videos. If you haven't seen the videos, uh, I have a couple of them. I'll link them in the description box below. I attended her workshop, and it was an amazing experience, and somebody under my comments did say that they did want to see a review on Aaliyah Janelle's workshop, so yeah, that's what we're going to do, and I'm just going to get right into it. So uh, I did the VIP package and it was like the, it was technically called the stiletto package and y'all, it was like, I'm not going to lie, it was mad expensive. Overall, I love the workshop, but the one negative thing I probably would have to say is that her, her class is like crazy expensive. But at the same time, I love supporting black owned businesses and she's actually like making a living off of this, like her and her family run this company. So at the same time, it's like, did it hurt my pockets? Yes. <laughs> Was it worth it though? Hell yeah. For me, I just think that if you really want to go to her class, you just have to decide if that's really something that you really want to do because the stiletto package was like $225 and I know general admission was like $80 and general admission was like $80 a day and the workshop was like two days. So the stiletto package with that you get the whole two-day workshop and you also got to talk with her for like a whole hour and that was the video that I showed you guys that's linked in the description box. Uh, so yeah, and that was an amazing experience. So when it comes to the actual dancing in the workshop, is she looking for people to work with like on a professional level? Yes, but at the same time, like she starts off the workshop like making everybody say this is just a class, we're here to have fun. Like, and I can really appreciate that because if you know anything about the dance world when it comes to workshops and master classes, it can be intimidating because people aren't so nice sometimes you know like the dance world can be really mm, like people don't want to talk to you unless you're like really 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 good if you're not like bomb as fuck they're just like mm, yeah okay whatever like why are you talking to me i love the fact that she automatically nip that shit in the butt like from jump immediately like when we sat down and we started telling stories about our wins and um things that we should be happy about she automatically off rip was like no I don't want no uh fake clapping I don't want you to be like oh yeah a key 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 to your friend to the side like she wasn't for that at all and, and I really admire that because I feel like when there's spaces like that in master classes and just dance classes in general, it really discourages people from wanting to grow and it really kind of, it messes with your mind. You know what I mean? Like people think that dance and learning choreography is so easy, but once you get in your mind that somebody's talking shit about you or you're going to mess something up and you're trying to learn a full dance, a 60 second dance in an hour, it's harder than it looks. So once that's in your mind, like, it can completely just mess up your vibe and mess up your whole experience. That she's not, like, a super strict teacher. Like, she doesn't care if people are talking and having fun. But I will say the second day, the second um, workshop, the Chicago class, y'all y'all were just too loud, bro. Like, I understand that y'all want to have fun, and I want to have fun, too, and she wanted to have fun. But y'all were, like, really... I can tell y'all were kind of irritating her because it's not the fact that y'all were talking. It was the fact that y'all were talking, but y'all didn't get the goddamn move. And then y'all want to ask her the same question over and over again. And I could tell that was irritating her and it irritated me too. Because like, you know, for people that actually want to learn and actually want to soak up her energy for the moment that she's there. Because let's be real, in Chicago, we only get choreographers like a real choreographer comes like maybe once, maybe twice a year if we're lucky. The second day, the choreography was a little bit harder, so I will give us that. But at the same time, it's like, if it's harder and you're not getting it, why are y'all talking? I, I feel like I'm just like talking shit about the Chicago class right now. I love y'all, Chicago. I just, this is not a bash of my city. I love y'all. I just, from that instant, it was just like very annoying, you know? But back to talking about Aaliyah is if she can tell that people just really aren't getting it and they're really trying their best, she'll um, ask people like, hey, come to the front. Like if you're in the back, come to the front and I'll show you and she'll go over the move with you. You know when uh, choreographers teach half the front row needs to sit down and then the back 
has to stand up and watch because if the front row is in the front, you know, people in the back can't really see, they can't really see the feet and everything, and it kind of messes up the choreography. So I will say that she is one of those teachers sometimes that tells you to front row sit down. So if you ever do take her class and if you want to go to the front, yeah, you'll have a better view, but know that you're going to have to learn some of the choreography sitting down. And yeah, you will go over it a couple of times, but you won't go over it as much as the people in the back full out. Whatever dance level you are currently at, she is extremely patient. Like, she doesn't care if you're a beginner or if you're advanced. She just wants everybody to have fun and do the choreography to the best of their ability and be sexy and be happy and be in the moment and just do what they love. Yeah, if you're a beginner, if you're a dancer, or, or if you're not a dancer at all and you just want to take her class just to learn some steps or to just feel sexy or if you just want to brush up your steps and you're a little rusty from dance, I 100% encourage you to go because even though she's a little pricey, she makes it worth your while. Like she's not the type of choreographer that's just going to give you steps and send you home. She's the type of choreographer that wants you to leave with something other than steps. Like if I were you, I would take her class if you really want to go to a class and soak up way more than just choreography it, like it's an experience it's a overall experience Life. and one thing that really meant a lot to me personally is that she let me film not only her class but she let me film that intimate space and that intimate moment and honestly guys like when I went there I mean I bought the stiletto package on a whim so I could you know I was like well maybe if I buy the expensive shit maybe she'll let me record you know but I mean honestly I really think that even if I just went in there as general admission she wouldn't have cared if I was recording or not and somebody that's a dance vlogger like I really 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 appreciate that because a lot of choreographers don't like that because that's kind of one of their avenues and one of their platforms how they make money so, you know, so I just kind of feel like just the fact that she did not mind sharing a piece of her pie with me to help me uh, not only get more followers on YouTube, but help me get a leg up. Like, I just, I really appreciated that. So, I mean, somebody that's just a dance walker, I just think, I just think that that's like really cool. And it, it says a lot about her character. Like she, it shows that she's very selfless and she really cares about her fans personal growth and their personal journey so Aliyah, i mean if you ever see this thank you sis like i i really appreciated that i mean i'm trying to think of any like downsides to her workshop other than being expensive but guys honestly like i really did not have any like negative experiences in that workshop like except for the price and i feel like i just have to say that because you know, $80 is a lot for one day. Uh, make sure you guys check out my queen in training series. I just did a dance to Leah Janelle's Freak -a -leak. I'm going to be doing some more of her dances and just kind of make it a queen in training series because you guys know that I'm still trying to train and get better. So make sure you guys check that out soon okay if not now check it out now you know you're not doing nothing you know you want to do it now so all right i thank you guys for watching this uh let me know if you guys want to see any more reviews from any choreographers that i've done in the past and please subscribe please 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 subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys later